Laura gave us a project to do, which the prompt was to make a boat out of cardboard using only cardboard and duct tape. And she put us, she, we would be put into groups of about three people and we would have the whole quarter to work on it. And at the end of the quarter, we would race the boats in the intercoastal waterways. I wanted them to have an understanding of buoyancy. I wanted them to be able to look at an aircraft carrier and understand why that floats, even though it's made out of steel and cement. I wanted them to have an experience working through the engineering design process. And then my last objective was really to give them that experience in collaboration. Laura showed us many videos and pictures of boats and from boats we saw last year at the race, we decided we wanted to do a flat bottom and have the sides more curved. We wanted more of a simple design, so it was kind of like easier to like make and it wouldn't be as complicated. It started off like kind of simple because we just had to make some blueprints and then we got really got into the measurements and all that kind of stuff. That part was a little more difficult. We wanted to make our boat really fast, so we made it about 15 feet long and um, about three feet wide, so we would be like really narrow in the water. At the beginning, it was kind of tough because we all had like ideas that, like my idea was to like make like more of a canoe style. For me, the real joy as a teacher honestly comes through watching their process. When they're really in that grown zone and I get to help them work through it in a really productive way where we not only come out of it with a plan, we come out of it with a plan everybody feels good about and we preserve relationships. Our group had some conflict, which like what we think would be best for the design and so it was kind of harder to work through that as well as working on the boat. So we were working through that and then we were working on the boat and so it was a little bit tense. You kind of had to listen to the ideas and kind of like find a common goal in that. Well at friend school you're in lots of groups with people and you get to work together and I feel like that really helped because it helped us like be able to work together and like communicate better. When it, they hit the water for the first time, it's always really wonderful to see, knowing all that what came before with all the group strife and the working together and the long days, it's really exciting just to see them be so excited that the boats are working <laughs> and to, to have that competitive spirit. I was really proud because um, I was kind of surprised because when we all three of us got in the boat, it didn't sink or like no water got in it. At first it was like really nice because I was like, wow, our boat floats because <laughs> we weren't really expecting it to float. And then as we kept going, it kind of got a little bit like dense in the middle and we started sinking. I was going and my boat was kind of like going side to side. So I was like, okay, at least it's not sinking but then it began to sink. We were off to a little bit of a rough start, but we picked up speed and we almost caught up to first place and we got second and we never sunk. We were really excited once it started floating. And when we started racing, when we were going there, it was fine. But on our way back, water started getting in and we started sinking. Just what they're being assessed on is how well they are working together, how well they are moving through these challenges. Even if their boat went five feet and sunk, that's fine as long as they are able to articulate why they made that design, if they worked well together making the design, and then if they can reflect afterwards on, hey, what went wrong, how can we make it better? 